Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. My mom and I were talking about something the other day, and she reminded me of this story. And then I recalled that I had watched a video about this several years ago. And I think it's so interesting. I thought you might be interested in it as well. This man owned some acreage and on this acreage there were a lot of these black rocks on it. And during his life he was always trying to make a good buck and he was also searching for diamonds. He would go to these places where you could search for diamonds and he would look for diamonds and he wanted to get wealthy. He eventually sold his property and you'll never guess what he found out. That the person that bought the property found out that those black rocks on that land were diamonds. Isn't that something? I guess the diamonds are created by a process. And the man didn't know that he was looking for great wealth and he had it right there all along and he got rid of it. And we were talking about it and there's a spiritual truth there you know, people are just walking around all the time. They're wanting to find wealth here or comfort there or peace there or just a host of things that, that people are desiring to get in life. And they just don't know. Most of them do not know that what they're searching for would be found in Jesus Christ alone. Jesus is the one that fulfills our needs. And He may never give us great wealth. He gives some people wealth. That's true. But did you know that if God just supplies our needs, to me, that is great wealth right there. If he answers our prayers and heals our bodies and so on and so forth, there's so many things that Jesus does for us. He's the living water. He gives our soul that's thirsty that water. He says, if you drink of this water, you will never thirst again. So, I'm putting my hand in the hand of Jesus and Remember that verse in Psalm 23 that he prepares a table before me in the presence of mine enemies? Well, there's a song out there I like the lyrics to, and it says, All the enemy can do is watch me eat. <laughs> so, that's all the enemy can do to me is watch me eat. And that's all the enemy can do to you if you place your trust in Him and the Lord God Almighty. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Amen.